Another successful teddy bear's picnic. Every single bear went home with its person. Well, nearly everyone. Spread out, team. Search and rescue. Oh. Hang on. <laughs> to the duck pond, on the double. Oh. No, my wand is nearly out of fizzle. Opal, we need your lasso. <laughs> Hey, Barney, there's your teddy down by the pond. <sighs> wow, Pearly, great job. Nice to see someone doing good things in the park. Unlike that nasty pixie, Mo. Mo? He's the pixie who's been cutting heads off daisies all over Fairyland. Oh, he's a nasty looking brute with those beady little eyes. Thanks for the tip. We'll be sure to warn the daisies in Jubilee Park. Smile! <laughs> Something wrong, most beautiful queen of darkness? <laughs> I thought it would have pleased you to read about Zamo. Not that. This! Just for once, I'd like to open the paper and not be greeted by my goody gumdrops cousin Pearly and her perfectly pearly smile. Her hair is so flawless. How does she do it? Who reads this rubbish? Oh, oh. <laughs> my fault, my fault. <laughs> Hmm, moon ray hair conditioner and glow worm toothpaste, says here on page three. <laughs> oh, perhaps, mistress, I could run to the store and get you a... <laughs> Ouch, my fault. <laughs> <sighs> Struth, Ruth, I'm wiped. Let's take a break. Totally, I am so willing for some chilling. <sighs> la, 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 do, do, do. Righto, team. Lots to do, so let's get up and at him. Hello. What happened to the nice work team, pat on the wings? Nice cover dandelion tea to celebrate a good job done? Oh, yes, good job. But what we really need to do is to set up for the Lady Beetle Table Tennis Championship, check the flotation devices on the lily pads, then Jasper, we need to speak to the daisies. They're worried about the nasty pixie Mo. Dude, can't you just stop and smell the roses? Excellent idea, Jasper. Let me just pencil that in. Stop and smell roses, 3.30 p.m. this afternoon. Are you free then, Opal? Ah! Is Opal mad at me? Look, all we need is some chilling time and we'll be back on the job. Chilling time? Hey, hey, I have an idea. I'll be back. I'm sorry, my little elf friend. My spa is very private with a very select clientele. Come on, just this once? You could give Opal some kind of wing treatment thing I would. Do some hair styling. Hair? Stylin'? Yes. Um, Pearly, perhaps. Do you think she'd let me give her an extra special do? Whoa, no, 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 no. No one touches Pearly's hair. She's very particular about it. Really? Of course. Well, Jasper, I've made up my mind. Yes, you can come to see me. Why, this very afternoon. Oh, sweet. Fire up the spa, Ludwig. Sharpen the snip snaps. Heat the wax for fairy stubble. And alert the press. Pearly's in for the trim of her life. An afternoon in Sapphira Spa? I don't know. Sounds a bit girly. I'm up for chillin'. We deserve a break. Yep. I'm gonna have a manicure. Maybe you could have a wing polish opal? Oh, I could put my feet up, I suppose. <laughs> cool. I'm gonna get my tread style. Hairylicious. <laughs> <laughs> Today, you're going to cut Pearly's hair, so you have to hold the comb this way uh, and the snip snaps that way. Oh, uh, oh, I can't do it, mistress. I'm left clawed. <laughs> oh, could Pearly hang upside down for her haircut? Let me see. No, you're fired. Now who am I going to get to do it? Uh, someone with a thumb, perhaps? <laughs> or you could do it. Me? With these nails? Hardly. Gobsmack. 
my favorite fairy inspector. What do you want? I'm busy. Oh, it's the fire room, my sweet. Um, <clears throat> guess who just caught the most dangerous criminal in all fairyland? You mean Mo, the daisy-cutting pixie? You caught him? Indeedy, I did. Yes. It's an interesting story. I'd been tracking the scoundrel relentlessly for what seemed weeks on end. <laughs> Incredibly difficult, it was. And those snip snaps, I'll tell you, they're positively lethal. I will make the front page of the morning mint for sure. I positive. <laughs> yes. Look, Gobsmack, the press are on their way to take a photo. Have a facial while you wait. It's on the house. Believe me, you need it. Really? Okay. Thanks very much. I haven't been sleeping. Would you keep an eye on Mo for me? Don't worry. I'll keep Get him out. busy. Nice. I've got a vacancy for a part-time hairdresser. <laughs> 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 Now, Mo, here are your precious snip snaps. Jimmy! I'm sure you're very keen to get them back. And you will, my little pixie friend, just as soon as you do one itsy bitsy thing for me. Oh, Mo can do. Excellent. <laughs> Now we have to choose a nail polish. Pink glitter for you, I think. Perfect. And for you, Opal? Ah, uh, hmm, let me see. Snake skin? Just what I had in mind. I'm loving this chilling thing. I'm having a ripper time, too. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, how charming. Now, dear Pearly, it's time to move into the hairdressing salon for your haircut. A haircut? Oh, I don't think... But I've engaged one of the most famous hairstylists in Fairyland. Epic hairstylist? Cool. Lead on, my lady. Uh-huh, yeah. So you've heard the big news? Yeah. I've got that nasty pixie mo tied up right over... There. Are you wearing lip gloss? I'd like you to meet Mo. I, I mean, Monsieur Snip. <laughs> yes, that's right, Monsieur Snip. Hi, Monsieur Snip. Say, you do look familiar. Have we met somewhere before? He's awfully famous. And he's here as my guest to treat you to some cutting edge styles. <laughs> <laughs> and I do mean cutting edge. <laughs> How do you do? Bonjour! Oh, that must be the media now. They follow Monsieur Snip everywhere he goes. Who's for a trim? A little snippity snip here and there? Oh, no, thank you. I was thinking of maybe just some sparkle spray and a curling wand. Yeah, me too. Just a dab of sparkle goo, and I'm good to go. Oh, excuse me, ma. Your hair, mon ami. It's so tres, tres thick and long. <laughs> I know, man. My dreads rock. <laughs> What is it this time? It's Mo! He's escaped! I have no idea what or indeed who you are talking about. Welcome! You must be here from the Morning Myth, my favorite journal. I, I, but I did have them. I swear. Thanks for the tip-off, Sapphira. What's going down? Something truly, truly memorable. And now he just... he disappeared. Like a... like a mirage. Get your camera ready. You'll definitely want to put this on the front page. Opal, there's something very familiar about that Monsieur... Uh, whatever his name is. Safara reckons he's famous. Maybe you've seen his picture in the newspaper. That's it? I've seen those beady eyes in the paper, uh, but not in the social pages, in the headlines. Monsieur is Mo. The pixie who's always cutting the heads off flowers. What's he want with Jasper? <laughs> oh, no. He's cut off Jasper's hair. <laughs> Come on, you hairy elf. You've enough fur for two. <laughs> Let me at that haystack. Oh, no way, man. Don't touch my dreads. I need my dreads. I love my dreads. <laughs> Good work, Opal. Oh, I want a head with hair. A 
everybody now. Give me long beauty. After him. <laughs> oh, that's him. Eek. How did he get in here? Ah! Help! <laughs> ah! Congrats on capturing Mo. Can we get a picture of the team? Not just us. We couldn't have done it without my dear cousin Sapphira. <sighs> <laughs> nice photo of us. Except Sapphira. She looks like she's been dragged through the bush backwards. Yes. I'll have to have a little word with her about her hair. I'll arrange a meeting, book an appointment, assemble some color style references, Right after I smell the roses. 